Good morning, everyone. Well, I know we're getting tired of seeing this in the Quad Cities, flooded parks, flooded roads, flooded train tracks. But the good news is the next 24 hours are going to be the worst of it because we have finally made it to the crest of the Mississippi River. It is expected to crest this afternoon at 21.6 feet. That is the current forecast, but boy, is it going to be awfully close to our crest in 2019. In 2019, we topped out at 21.68 feet. And could we get to 21.7 feet today? It certainly is a possibility. It's within the realm of possibilities. So what we're looking at is either our sixth or seventh highest crest all time in the Quad Cities of the Mississippi River. So, how long are we going to be hovering at that 21.6.7 mark? It looks like it's going to happen. We're going to reach that mark this afternoon. It's going to continue through the evening, through the overnight, through tomorrow morning. Finally, by tomorrow afternoon, that level is going to start to drop. But I do have to stress, this is going to be a very gradual <laughs> decrease. As long as it took the river to reach this point, it's going to take just as long for it to go back down. So we are still going to be in major flood stage, it looks like, through May 12th. And we're only at May 1st. So we're still talking about the river being at major flood stage, 18 feet through May 12th. And then moderate, minor. But the good news is, fortunately, we have finally made it to the peak this afternoon through the overnight hours. And it'll gradually start to go down. And also, fortunately today, it is going to be dry, but there's still going to be a lot of cloud cover. It is looking like a mostly cloudy day, and that's going to still keep temperatures down. You know, normal for this time of year should be upper 60s. Instead, I think at best, we're talking about upper 50s, some getting stuck in the mid 50s, I think particularly in the northeastern part of the area. And it's going to be just as windy as yesterday. We're still talking about this afternoon. Gusts around 45 miles per hour, the kind of wind where it's unpleasant uh, to be outside. So definitely a, a wind chill factor, and that's going to continue uh, tonight as well. Now, the worst wind is going to be in the afternoon, but still windy. Gusts 30, 35 miles per hour through the evening hours, and even late tonight, Early tomorrow morning when we're hitting our low temperatures, upper 30s, low 40s, it's still going to be breezy. Gust 20, 25 miles per hour, dry tonight, partly cloudy skies. So we got to talk about what it's going to be feeling like early tomorrow morning as you're heading out the door with those breezy conditions. It's only going to be feeling like the low to mid 30s. So this is what you need to be dressed for early tomorrow morning. Now, improvement in the afternoon tomorrow. I do think it's going to be a mostly sunny day with more sun around. Warmer temperatures still below normal for this time of year, but going in the right direction. I think low 60s will be most common. Some could get stuck in the upper 50s. It's still going to be windy tomorrow, but not very windy. We'll just call it kind of a regular windy day with gusts around 35 miles per hour. And looking ahead to Wednesday, Wednesday still looks dry. We're going to continue to warm up, and it won't be windy anymore. Just a light breeze, gusts around 15 miles per hour.